Hey YouTube, MJ back, and now that the charity month is over, um, and it was a great event, and I want to thank everybody who watched, stayed tuned, and participated, but I want to go more towards a, a happy time in Transformers history, uh, for me, for some people, it really isn't. We're going to look at the focus of my collection, which... My main theme that I collect is Generation 2 related Transformers. So we're going to be starting a line and review time period of Generation 2 stuff. I'm going to try to get one review up every day of different Generation 2 Transformers, either that I personally own or that I borrowed from a friend of mine until I can get in the ones that I'm missing. Uh, this will actually be both all Generation 2 some figures that I repurposed from other lines for a, a Generation 2 collection because they fit, and you'll see those and why. As well as some third-party related stuff and customs. But we're going to start off with probably one of the most well-known actual Generation 2 toys. And that is the actual Generation 2 Laser Prime. Uh, this is the original one. Ta-da! In all its ridiculous glory. <laughs> Actually, this is probably one of the more bland Generation 2 figures, color-wise. Give or take. It has been reissued, as I believe it was an eHobby exclusive, but I'm not 100% on that, with a chrome trailer. Uh, this is also the mold that they used for R.I.D. Scourge slash Black Con boy in Japan. So the mold is fairly simple. Vehicle mode, the main colors you're going to see is, uh, there's some chrome wire in the front, but the grill and bumper would be chromed. Red, divided into black, along with the traditional blue for prime. Uh, it's a very different color pattern than what you normally used to for prime in Generation 2. Uh, transformation from for the cab we'll get to in a minute. Uh, trailer coloring is black, red, gray, and then it has the, an extremely ridiculous prime fire blaster explosion picture with the Generation 2. And that's on both sides. Uh, there's stickers throughout, targeting systems, OP95. Alright, so now that we have gone through vehicle mode, uh, we'll get him transformed. For the trailer, fold down the front end, split the sides, rotate that forward. There is a little spring button under here. You're going to want to push that. Uh, it will spring actually open the whole base, but because I'm in a small area, I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's a gun on the other side you can extend. Got your battle station here. Uh, missile launcher that clips on with a ball joint. And then I'll just ball join into the other side. Uh, the interior is actually probably the more colorful area. You have circuitry in neon green and yellow. And I will zoom in on that quick to give you a good size comparison because it's just not feasible to lift it up. And got it on the other side too. He. The missile launcher has. Oh, didn't zoom back out, sorry. It's going to have five firing missiles, each with their own spring, or firing mechanism, and, and spring. So that'll pop in. And then it does have storage for additional missiles. 
it's more than likely it, you, they're going to get lost. <laughs> or, you know, it, at this point you're buying them second hand. There's a good sh chance you probably won't actually get them included. Uh, the next accessory, which I will, I guess I'm going to have to turn around. Please fit, please fit. <laughs> hey. Barely. I'll back up the camera just a bit. For this mode. Flip it down. And it's an air blast. There basically it's a tube with a push pin. Which apparently doesn't work. <laughs> but basically what happens... Oh, no, it's not that it doesn't work. It's just really tight on there. The missile will slide on. Air pushes through it. In turn launches the missile. Um, you're going to encounter that a couple of times in the Generation 2 reviews. But I have because there's a few more characters that use that. The spring mechanism in that weapon is still very good. Considering all I wanted to do was plug that back in. Okay. Now I'm just getting annoyed. <laughs> Oh, there's the problem. Plugging it in the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get the trailer closed up. And out of the way for now, or at least condensed. Uh, it does have one more weapon, which I'm going to show off in this mode. Uh, the one rotating gun, which can be used in tank mode. If you spin the knob on top, Launches discs. Uh, it's just a blue disc with the Generation 2 Autobot logo on it. It's a nice feature. It's a well working mechanism. And still, it's just a kind of a cool looking weapon. It's probably one of the better base weapons, I think. It's very multi-purpose, you get a lot of weaponry, you get a full-on base function. I think it was probably one of the better ones they made, in the, as opposed to later years where it just started to get to the point where the base later just turned into a part of the character. Now, on to the actual Prime figure. As it is Generation 2, you know the transformation is going to be very easy. Slide back the legs. Flip down the feet. Stand them up. Pull out the arms. Pulling out the arms. Fix the legs. <laughs> Pull down the chest. The head is on a rotation. Oh, there's not a good way to show that. Rotate it up, and then follow the channel, slide it down to lock it in place, rotate the head around, close the chest back up, and he does come with a sword. This one's actually a repro- oh, done by um, Darkov. Uh, he do is normally more stable. This one's got a slightly loose hips, so he doesn't always fall back. Posability on him for a figure of its time was actually very good. I mean, actually, even by now, current standards, it's pretty good. Head rotates. Arms rotate 360. Because of transformation, you do get some in and out. <coughs> Quick the actual... And then you get an outward motion below the shoulder, bicep swivel, and a single jointed elbow. 
torso has a waist rotation for transformation forward and back at the knees or the hips out at the hip 90 degree bend at the knee and I guess you can call it a foot pivot if you really want to stretch but considering this was a generation 2 transformer and coming off the generation 1 line I honestly have to say it was a very impressive figure it was a good figure again when it got re-released as Black Convoy slash RD Scourge, depending what you want to call him. Um, so I can honestly say, if you're a fan of old Transformers, this is definitely one to pick up. In some, this old for sure should get picked up in some fashion. Uh, I personally am partial to Generation Two. However. R.I.D. Scourge or probably appeals for more people. It's a more well-known color scheme at this point because it did appear in a cartoon. And it's a nice, sleek look, and the chrome looks really nice on him. So, that's going to conclude today. I'm to look at the first of a couple of primes that will get reviewed throughout the course of this. Because this is a figure... Um, Generation 2 had at least two official primes that I know of. Uh, more if you count some that I am just not going to include because I think they're a stretch. But actual like tankers. As well as this did get revised in the Generations line. So I will be looking at that figure. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you tomorrow when we look at the evil equivalent of this guy.